Wagwa people, we are back. John Barnes Master League Liverpool Series Episode 3, brothers. So today we have Norwich and we also have the first game of the Champions League. Uh, we have sold Alana, Lovren's gone too. So we do have a little bit of coin to play with. So 43 million, 198,000 in the bank for weekly salary. So we're going to get Norwich out of the way and then have a little gags. I've got a couple of people on the list. We don't really need anyone, to be honest. We've already bought uh, Leon Bailey and Ben Chilwell, so the left back's been covered, the spare wing has been covered. Um, we're obviously looking at Aaron's before potentially replacing uh, Klein, good youngster. And again, I think he'll come really good on this game, to be fair. He's got fighting spirit, everything on there. A little bit short of 176, that's the only thing. Uh, they've also got Nerez as well. I think he or Sancho will be next season. Uh, or maybe January if we do get rid of, say, Shakiri, and then we'll get one of these brothers. And obviously, Harry Wilson, we'll just keep in tabs on because he is a local player, really. Um, so, yeah, I'll have a little look after this Norwich game. But first things first, Norwich City. Another win in the bank, hopefully. We'll get to see how good Aaron's is, and typically he's not even in the starting lineup. Sod's law. Anyway, let's have a look at our line. So, everyone's buzzing on the bench as usual. So, you know what? We're going to start with a different lineup today. We're going to go with Kieda. Uh, and the thing, yeah, Kieda can be the deeper one, but we'll make him go like that. We'll also go with uh, Wijnaldum, Wijnaldum in there. Uh, Shaqman's obviously buzzing, so is Bailey. Let's put Shaqiri on there. Harvey Elliott as well, he's yet to make his debut. Um, mm -hmm. And Jones is in there. You know what? Jones can go in for Henderson. We can't really take Milner out. We don't want to lose too many of the uh, defenders back here and stuff. Vandenberg's got a little bit of buzzard on him, so again, you know what? If if the brother's feeling it and we're winning 2 or 3 nil or something like that, then we can go. Chilwell hasn't made his debut yet, but still, it's okay. We'll go with that for now. We've got a lot of options off the bench if need be. I want to try playing some of these youngsters. I might do that in the FA Cup or, again, a bit of the uh, Champions League if we qualify early doors. But Norwich's not going to show us the kits. Typical Pez. But I'll see you, brothers, at kickoff. So we're still trial running how it looks like without the uh, camera during the game. Like I said, it does take up a lot of the pitch. On Become a Legend, it's not so bad because generally we're following one person. But on this, obviously, the ball can be in the top corner and we can't see it sometimes. So both master leagues at the moment, I won't face cam during the games. Just the commentary, brothers. And afterwards, we'll have a bit of face cam. So, Norwich City away. We've seen what these brothers have been doing in real life. They gave Liverpool a torrid game, uh, opening game of the season. They've uh, literally just beaten Man City. So, Norwich ain't no joke, to be honest. And we're going to be lively today. Because they will start off bright. Robertson wins it back early, though. And Liverpool can break quick. Mane's already in front of his man. And there's a step forward. And already Norwich on the back foot. And Mane's cleaning. He's going to lay it off again. Momo's there. He's hit somebody on the back of the head. Probably Firmino. The rass happened then. <laughs> but Liverpool, again, you see that pace. One mistake by Norwich. And Liverpool are on them. We're trying to step out quietly. Norwich here. Trying to sneak into our half. Here's Robertson. Well, don't ball watch, brother. Ox blocks it out. And again, Liverpool's just press is unreal for Norwich. We've got a bit of space here. Stephenman, again, taken out of it though. Ox wins it. Lays it off. And away you go, Liverpool. Here's Momo into Firmino. A little knock on Ox. Seeing the run of. Oh, Salah, but again, the Norwich defender is just there. Couldn't really see, really. The Norwich players blending in with the sunlight. Again, this game has started off at a fast pace. Wijnaldum, neatly done. Liverpool want to keep this high tempo if they can. Eventually, it'll tire Norwich out. They're in behind. Robertson's in here. Mane, take a touch pass. He doesn't. Ah, good defending. And Robertson's out of position now. This is where Norwich can maybe counter... Poor touch there. They had the spin move on Van Dijk. We're going the opposite way now. Easy enough though for Trent. We can start again. Give Allison a touch. Why not? Here's Joe Gomez. We have to go back again to Allison. Norwich blocking off all the avenues. We get past this midfield though. Norwich are usually in trouble. Like here now. We get the one on ones and Liverpool. Ah, oh, Firmino should have been a better ball. Salah was in. Norwich can break, but again, Wijnaldum putting the pressure on. John Barnes' team still keeping that Gen Gen press. There's a couple of Liverpool players down. Something's happened down there. Nice little switch from Norwich, though. 
heavy touch. Trent gives away the free kick though. Cut inside him. It gives us a chance to get everyone back to be honest. So they're going to go route one. We've only got a couple of players in the box though. He's launched far side. You're not beating Van Dyke like that brother. Not today. Here's Mo Salah. Full little knock on. Back to him though. The Liverpool game can counter. Trent's on the right. Nice little burst of pace. Oh, tries to nutmeg him. He does though. Gets back to him. And Trent's in. It's down to Wijnaldum. How the feck? <laughs> what the hell happened? Genie Wijnaldum with Kerr still lives on. The brother cannot score away from home. This is bread and butter. I just thought this was going to nestle into the back of the net. Genie puts it wide. My goodness. What's going on, Wijnaldum? Van Dijk win your headers. He does. What a powerful header from Van Dijk. Beautiful header. Norris try and break again. Here's Roberts. A little cut inside. Robertson blocks him off though. Can't get the second ball though. But Genie picks it up. You need to redeem yourself, brother, from that miss. Here's Bobby. Into Mo. Trent's made that run again, and Trent is absolutely bursting past everybody on this far side. A little cut in. Wijnaldum this time, left peg, good save from the keeper. That was a more difficult chance. <laughs> Made the keeper work better though. Yeah, it loses out. Hit Chamberlain's across though, and again a heavy touch by Norwich. And Liverpool can break. Inside again, here's Bobby. Can he find Mane again? He does. Back to Mo Salah. Salah's got the turn, got the shot, and again another save. Robertson's there, whips it back across, no one's in. Norwich survive again. It's like the Sheffield United game all over. Chance after chance for John Barnes' team. Here's Momo. Which one in this time? Going to go with the right peg and do it. Finds Bobby Firmino. Oh, goes wide. The angle was tight as a nun's. He puts it wide. Still nil-nil. Norwich holding on. Liverpool need to make these chances pay. Been like this early doors, the team chemistry should be there really. Which the finish has not been. Oh, and Firmino takes it off him. Battles through. Sees Momo on the far side. It deflected, but he takes it first time volley and a save again. Could have taken a touch, but tries to catch the keeper off guards. And Norwich make it to half time somehow. Absolutely peppered on Daniel Farke and his team. Daniel Farke. What a name. Beautiful. Alright. Let's get it in the second half though, brothers. Nil nil. We can do this. Not like that though. <laughs> what the ras? Going on my controller. When Adam's having an absolute goose today. What the fuck is he doing? Anyway, it's a throw into Norwich. We redeem that. I think I already pressed like a long through ball with the previous geese and then when Adam decided to do it himself, but hey ho. Close him down. Okay, Norwich getting them little spin moves off players. A little turn that way. Van Dyke's in again though. Stick past him this time. The Norwich players are in. Typically, oh my goodness, what a save. Just thought Sword's Law, they're going to score. Go 1 0 up. But Allison's there to the rescue. So Norwich corner. Ball's whipped in. Allison all day long, son. Maybe a Norwich throw. No, they're keeping in play. Trent blocks it out, though. And it does go for a throw this time. So seven minutes in. Norwich looking more lively already this half. We're going to go for a long throw here. Ox is up to battle for it. Liverpool can't get the second ball. We do now. And Kieta can break. Up to Mane. Sends Bobby through. Deflected slightly, but Bobby gets it still. Not much offered help here, really. Here is Mane, though. And again, tackled away. Just last second. Little mistake, though. And Liverpool literally in again. The front three are just not clicking too much yet. We need to get maybe change the formation. What's the... Wait a minute. That keeper was six yards out of his area. What the bumper clout was that? Van Dijk deals with it. Knocked it up. Here we go again. Mo Salah. Surely a matter of time for this front three click. And the goal arrives. Norwich are doing well. Closing them all down. Here's the rest of Liverpool attack. Joining up with them. Man, he's got the move on again. A great tackle. Norwich always just managed to stick a toe out last second before the shot's going off. 63 minutes played, still 0-0 at Carroll Road. Nicely blocked out. 
Trent's back goal side now as well. Brothers left the ball behind. Don't know what's going on there. And Liverpool counter again. How many times have you seen this today in today's game? Into Bobby. Bobby Fassai. There we go. Liverpool finally have the lead. And it's Bobby Firmino. Little through ball from Wijnaldum. And Liverpool are finally 1-0 up. All the domination finally pays off. John Barnes applauds them. Nice little football. Genie broke it down. Burst into the Norwich half. Little side through ball to Firmino. Firmino's in. A little side foot finish. And Liverpool lead 1-0. What can we do? Can we increase this lead? Twenty minutes to go. Norwich have to do something. They have to start throwing men forward. It's going to be dangerous for them because they're going to leave gaps like this. And Mane's out in. Norwich managed to get a couple of players back towards him. Oh my goodness, Mane! Just ran straight at him. Van Dijk just runs past him. <laughs> Virgil, where are you going, brother? <laughs> oh my goodness. Trent blocked it off. Allison all day long, son. There we go. Just drop it down. Take your time, brother. Take your time. So I say Norwich haven't really troubled there, Allison. We don't want to give him a chance to. Gonna go back inside. Ox into Kieta. Had a solid game. Hopefully, see a lot more of him this season. Van Dijk inside to Mane. See the run of Robertson. Ah, Robertson. Ah, Firmino's gone for it instead. Robertson was trying to tuck in behind that fullback. Beautiful header from Wijnaldum. Firmino's 10 yards offside though. So it's going to get a bit tasty now. A little couple of subs from Norwich. Have a little look ourselves, I think. Trying to see this game out. There's not much long to go now. Let's have a quick look. Anybody else tired? Not really. Leon Bailey can come on though for Momo. Uh, we're going to give Kurt, yeah, Curtis Jones a little run out. And again, we're going to have to take off Trent. Trent's tired again, so Klein's going to have to come on. So maybe we do go in the market for Aaron's, maybe. Klein's obviously declining. And he's a good player. Trent, stamina wise, doesn't seem the greatest on this one. So maybe we do get Aaron's in. Get another right back in there. Just give us an extra option if need be. Nicely done. Touch there. And they've got the runners everywhere. Through ball for Mane. Sends him a little bit wide though. He's still in. Mane with the curler. Oh my goodness, what a save. Tim Krul keeping it cool. Unbelievable save. Mane had the curl and everything on him. And Norwich can now attack. Nathaniel Klein comes across. Can't win the ball, he does now. Lays it off. Not many options for Genie. We're going to have to go back. Again, Liverpool just need to manage this game now. Switch it over, Van Dijk. Where's Robertson gone? <laughs> the brother's already made it halfway up the pitch. Doesn't lose out. Spin move. Into Curtis Jones. One of the youngsters. Over the top. Beautiful ball for Mane. Has a look up. Sees a couple of brothers in there. Ah, oh, Too much of a fast stick though. Trying to find Bailey. This is it now. Dying minutes. One last chance for Norwich. If Liverpool get this now, that's it. 1-0 win. Just about scraped it through but we'll take it early doors as long as we're winning the team cohesion everything will go up eventually and we'll batter teams but to be fair we had enough chances to win three or four nil there brothers on that one so check your coupons have a look if your team's won have a look if he's lost see if you've won a bit of money let me know manchester city beat chelsea though that's one bad thing so we move on we do have Olympiacos next. Uh, like I said, I'm interested. Maybe get a couple of signings. I don't know. Maybe Aaron's in. There's not really much going about, really. We're on transfer deadline day, so we'll have a little look. See if anyone bids for any applies. I don't think we've listed anyone else but the ones that have already gone. So Lovren's gone. lalana has gone. But the last day of the transfer window, Chapter 1, brothers. I received word that Palace are looking to buy a Hoover. All right? <laughs> they ain't buying our Hoover. They've told them they need me four hours to send. They need four hours to send an official thing. Brother, it's 2019. You tell these brothers to text me right now, okay? I ain't playing like that. Come on, man. Four hours to send a bloody bid in. Are you having a giraffe? So we're not going to sell Hoover anyway. Have they sent one in? No? All right. Jimmy Milner's had a bid, though. Seven million for Southampton. No. You know what? No. The only place Milner's going is Leeds, if he does leave. Uh, they have nobody's bid for Hoover anyway. 
So, yeah, like I said, I've got Aaron's on there. Um, hmm. Let's have a look at the squad in general. I don't think... Let's go position-wise. Like I said, I don't think we need that much. We've got three up front with Origi, Brewster and Firmino. I'd rather give Brewster a bit of a chance to get something going. Origi again, good cover. We've got enough wingers in there now. We've got Harvey Elliott as well. Henderson, Keita, Milner, Chamberlain, Zones, Fabinho. So again, midfield is stacked. Two right backs in there, two left backs, four centre halves. So like I said, we are pretty, pretty stacked to be honest. Um, the only thing I'd probably go for is maybe we find some kind of wonder kid, some kind of youngsters in here. So let's go. 18 years old. Let's see who the best rated 18 year old or 15 to 18 year old is. And it's Bartual. So he's obviously a made up brother. I don't really feel that to be honest. Not really feeling that. Rodrigo's a good one, but he's just gone to Real Madrid. Um, we could bid, but again, we don't need that position. Saliba obviously is an Arsenal player, so again, not really realistic. Gawona, I don't know who this brother is. Could be the next Luis Suarez by the looks of it. Support striker, left midfield. Yeah, okay. Got any kind of skills? Outside curler. All right, okay. <laughs> Fahid Basile. I mean, some of these names. McNish. He's English, but again, a made-up player. I want to recognise any of these brothers. No. Again, no one really feeling it on this one here. Let's go up to 20 years old. Let's see if anyone else is there. So, again, this is just making up the squad, obviously. Donnarumma, these brothers aren't really realistic. Havertz would be. Um, and, again, you could play behind them strikers where Chamberlain plays, to be fair. It's not a bad shout. Canote, Vinicius, Jao Felix would be an awesome one to get. But, again, not realistic just yet. Um, Sars in there, not bad. Gamara. Rice, maybe. Cliver in there too. So like I said, there's nothing really that we desperately need that's a realistic transfer that we'd actually get as well. So I can't really see anyone in here. Again, Sessing oh my god, Reese Nelson's gone to Monaco. Sessing on <laughs> joined Tottenham and now joined Everton. Bloody hell. What's going on here? Uh yeah, so I'll be honest, brothers, there's not really anyone in here that I'm feeling, to be honest. That I think you know what? Tony Adams. Oh no, okay. <laughs> like, damn. So, yeah. Oh, Ruth and Franklin from back in the day. Last season. Oh, beautiful. Ruth and Franz. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, like I said, there's nothing really in here that I'm thinking. Like I say, Aaron's maybe. Potentially looks okay. Good pace. Jump's not so bad. Balance. Six thing. You know what? We're going to put a bid in for him just because I like bidding for players. And why not try and get a brother? 16 million. Oh, my goodness. You're killing me here with this. 18 million with a full map. And then, wait a minute. So... 18 million release clause, but then he wants a 14 million pound release clause, and it's non-negotiable. Looks like we're running the wrong way. So I ain't signing him for 18 million. Then having 14 million release clause, you must be smoking something strange. Sorry, Aaron's, you've ruined it for yourself, there, brother. Uh, T. Ways in there. Lincoln, nice little youngster. But again, like I said, we've got uh, we've got Brewster. So I'm going to try and play Bruce if ideally. So yeah, for me, I don't think anyone else is going to come in, you know. I don't think we're going to try and squeeze another signing in. I can't see anyone really that Liverpool would want or need. Uh, like I said, we've got enough centre-halves with everyone in there. Right-backs were good, left-backs were good, midfield were good. Um, there's no one generally I want to sign for Liverpool that I haven't already signed. Let's just have a look at the bigger picture. See what's on here. So obviously Ronaldo and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so looking at this, there's no one on this list of players really. Mbappe obviously would be nice, but realistically as well, Koulibaly would maybe be a realistic one. Him and Van Dijk would just be crazily good. Again, we're going to be paying lots of money for him though. He'll be at least yeah, 67 million. We've only got 43, so to be fair, I don't think there's going to be much we can get on these first couple of pages. Skinny as good as well. Bring Coutinho back. Other. So Coutinho's not even at a club. How much is the one for this? 81 million. Do I have to pay for him even if he's on a free? She. No, nah, I'm, I'm good for that. You can keep him. It's fine. You know what I mean? I was going to welcome him back. I thought, you know what? Let's bury the hatch. But nah, you brother, you're staying wherever you are. you stay in a limbo land. Um, yeah, so brothers, as much as we have a little look, I think we're good with uh, Bailey and we're good with Chilwell for now. We'll look again in January to maybe increase the squad maybe but yeah looking at that i think we're good we don't want to waste too much more of your time brothers we're going to skip one hour let's see if these brothers see if uh, 
Palace come back with their bid for Hoover. It's going to be rejected. So they're going to take four hours to send me a bid. I'm going to reject it in four seconds. Save you the time, brothers. Don't even waste your time trying to bid. So nothing's happening so far. Let's skip another hour. Uh, I don't think I've got anyone else listed. I'm trying to think now. A couple of brothers maybe for loan. Uh, we'll see if they can go, to be fair. Lonergan's listed as well, because we don't really need him. Oh, my goodness, we've got a couple of negotiations. I'm just skipping past it, I didn't even know. So Lonergan's in there. We're going to get rid of him, even if it's 281,000. I've still got Keller. I've got Adrian as well, so we don't need him. He's just basically clogging up the room. Thanks, Lonergan. The shortest Liverpool career of all time. Appreciate the <laughs> efforts, brother. And again, for some reason, we're on a loading screen here. All right, chapter two. So the chairman still wants me to spend this money, but there's no one out there. A pallet, oh, 757000 for Hoover. Looking at what other clubs might offer him, it, this seems like a fair price. It's a good deal for both clubs. It's not a good deal, because this is one of our youngsters. John Barnes will pimp slap you right across your face for talking like mess. Yeah, let me think about it. No. My goodness. Who is this sporting director, man? He's in it for the money. Oh, I've got a bid for Adrian as well. 1.6. How, how good is Keller? Not ideal. So we're going to reject Hoover. Is there any potential young goalkeepers that we'd want to sign? We could sell Adrian and get another youngster in there. Let's have a look. Goalkeepers. I'm going to keep it as it is. Let's do our ting. You know what? Let's let's rock down the the age as well. These brothers are older than dirt. Bring it down because Allison is fairly young. Let's bring it down to a cool 22. Let's see what we've got. We could sell Adrian and then invest in the keeper. But again, a realistic one. Donnarumma wouldn't play second fiddle. He would merit Lafonce. He's at Nantes now. So that brother, maybe. He may come in and do a job, to be honest. And he'd be a good backup, to be fair. Um, we've got Henderson at Sheffield United. How old's 22, this brother? I'm feeling a bit of Henderson, you know. Dragowski's a good one. If you play football manager, this brother's a beast on that football manager. Um, Lafonce. You know what? Let's put Henderson on the uh, shortlist. I'm feeling this, brothers. Uh, White House, Ramsdale. He's the new brother at Palmer, isn't he? He's not looking too bad either. You know, I'm tempted to sell <laughs> Adrian's just joined the club, but I'm tempted to sell him. He's a bit calamitous, I must admit. That's what we're getting off for that. He's a 77 rated, 32, 1.6 million. Let's have a look what these brothers want for these keepers. So Henderson, you'd be looking at three million. All right, okay, I can handle that. Or Ramsdale, three million as well. Okay, so right, let's uh, let's have a quick look at these two brothers then. So one's twenty-two, one's twenty-one. Um, let's start with the height: one eight eight, one eight eight. So both the same height. A bit more form on Henderson. Obviously, stats slightly higher. Reflex is eighty-seven. Henderson's a bit of a beast, to be honest. Um, jumps a bit better on Ramsdale. You know what, we're going to go in for Henderson. So, let's have a quick look. The club is open to ideas, sending the player to us. Okay, that's good. You know what, Freeman and we're fine. Wow, again, this bloody release fee clause. What? It drives me mad. I'm going to sign it. Again, the release fee clause is less than what I'm going to sign him for. I'm actually on crack. Let's sing a few of these bad boys in. I have to have a release for your claws. Oh. Right, there goes the bid. Two hours have gone. We should have enough time to sign him. That'll take us down to three. And sell Adrian. Uh, yeah, the bid's still there. Cool. Other teams. Henderson bid should have gone through. He's demanding a low contract fee. That's cool. He may have an eye on it. I know he has his eyes in the next club. Release fleas, four million for God's sake. Oh. Anyway. We'll sign Henderson. Um... Yes, first we'll take two hours. We'll get Henderson in. So we've got another one on the books anyway, at least. Um, we've got, we'll get rid of Adrian. I can't believe we've got a release clause of that, though. That's just, honestly... The Pez needs to solve that in the updates. Because it's a good idea having release clauses. But not when they're less than the actual price you bought the friggin' idiot for. Ah, oh, right. See you later, Adrian. It's been cool, mate. It's been good. But we've got a new brother in for backup. And Henderson potentially will get better than Adrian as well. So that's it. Bailey, Chilwell, Henderson in the house. We move on now. It's going to be a longer video today. I do apologise, brothers. But we're going to move on. 
and we're going to move on with the move on and it's going to be Olympiakos in the group stage so we also have in there what's going on here come on man here we go all right me and Henderson have got a few questions to answer first what are you saying brothers you widely believe you easily make it past the group stage but how are you feeling about your prospects I don't even know who, I know Olympiakos in there I've not even checked it out what we got then options wise what we're saying John Barnes folds his arms we can win the group it'll go down to the wire winning the group is a bonus we can win the group we're, we're bad boys there's no easy groups in this competition but let's just say I'm thankful we're choosing in, in the death group I want to secure our uh, advancement as soon as possible but in some dialect like between us and others in the rest of the stage all right John Barnes ain't playing no games so let's have a quick look um, it's just gonna tell us that these players have joined and gone the scouts Chance the window shut and the scouts come back now with some buys, guys to buy, really. So in the group as well, we have Olympiacos, Atletico Madrid and Dynamo Kiev. So maybe I spoke too soon about winning the group quite easily. We'll see. Either way, brothers, it is time for the Champions League and I will see you at kickoff. All right, made the trip across the Greece. Had a couple of kebabs, beautiful scenes over here. We've got Olympiacos in the house. So these and Dynamo Kiev are the two teams we should really be some feast. We guarantee we beat them home and away. That's 12 points right there against those two sides. And then see what we can pick up against Atletico. Because Atletico are going to be a beast on this. But again, I was mouthing off in press conference saying, yeah, we're winning the group. Not having a clue what we've got. On paper, we should win it. But again, there's no easy games. I don't think I just saw Demba Bar there. For, I did. Demba Bar, that brother's still hanging around. So he's there at Olympiacos. So let's get it anyway. Enough of the pleasantries. Let's get this. Olympiacos versus Liverpool. Opening game of the Champions League. Can we retain the trophy? We need to get out of the group stage first. So Olympiacos straight on us. Trent again. Gives away a lot of free kicks. Olympiacos got a chance to pump the ball into the box. Let's get another brother back there. Fabinho reads it though. And to be honest, I didn't even look if anyone was buzzing in the lineup. I just went straight out with it. Ah! Well, battled though, Momo. Here's Mane. Sees Firmino. Oof. Defender read it well. Not this time. Oh my goodness. Went for the second pass again, and Mane just got his bearings wrong. Olympiacos were open then as well. Fabinho shirt pulling like nobody's business. Olympiacos play the way out of it though. Here they go again, Fabinho again putting that pressure on. Robertson now doing the same. They've been behind, Fabinho's read it though. Again, they get the ball forward, Olympiacos. Ball's crossed in, headed out, what a save, Alisson. Liverpool under the cosh, early doors. Henderson going long to Momo. Cuts inside. Finds Fabinho. Ah, straight over the top for Mane, but again, he's got his back to the player. Trying to read that defence, trying to work out Olympiacos early doors. See where the weaknesses are. Here's the ball forward. Picked up by Van Dijk. He's now going to send Mane through. And again, the ball's the other side of the defender. What's going on? I'm better with the 66 rated players than Reggie Boy Rovers. Just can't get the rhythm going with these brothers yet. Robertson's trying to close them down though. So Chamberlain inside. Henderson, ball's in. Olympiacos playing some nice football here. Playing it around Liverpool. This time Trent times his challenge to perfection. Look at the strides his brother's making. Into Mo Salah. Trent's made the second run again. Looking for Bobby in there. Gets to the byline and chips it to the keeper for the love of God. Good defending though. No wonder Trent's always knackered at the end of the game. Final ball was poor though. Mane putting the pressure on. Nice ball inside. Olympiacos. Some good passing. Liverpool just need to hold their ground. Maybe stop the Gen Gen press a little bit. Olympiacos make the mistake like that. And away we can go again. Here's Mohamed Salah. It's opened up nicely for him. Bobby's in. And again, the final ball is just dog shit. God's sake. Shocking. Literally shocking, Salah. Chamberlain wins it back again, no. And again, they're in this time. Played down the line. Can he keep it in, Mane? He can just. Going to go back and swing it in. 
Momo on the spin move. Just wide. He was behind him. Had to wrap his foot around it. First real chance for Liverpool though. He falls to Mohamed Salah. So far we've not looked convincing early doors this season. We are winning games which is good. But we're not playing to our full potential. Here's Chamberlain. Into Bobby. Momo wants that run now. Ball's through now. Ah, oh, the defender read it again. Olympiacos having to defend with their lives now. Into Mane. Blocked off. Trying to find Salah. Cleared out again. Intercepted by Fabinho. Played forward to Mo Salah. Into Fabinho. Oh, Bobby is nearly there again. Mane. Firmino. Salah. Trying to back into Firmino again. Liverpool trying to pass it into the net. Played out wide. See Bobby at the back stick, but intercepted again. Liverpool pick it up again, though. It's all a bit crowded in there. Liverpool trying to find that space. Going to go wide to Trent. Back into Mo Salah. Again, he's got that spin moving he wants. Firmino turned him. And Mo Salah's offside, for God's sake, brother. My goodness. Olympiacos holding their line. And again, Liverpool struggling to break these smaller teams down. It's going to be half time already, 0 0. A lot of possession again. And this time, to be honest, Olympiacos have got more possession than we have. But here we go. Let's redeem this. Can we do something? Inside. Nicely done. Firmino back to Mo Salah. We've got the spin move with Trent. They lay it back in. Not again. Blocked off. And again, Trent tackled. Olympiacos, where are you going? <laughs> and you can clear their lines. Trent's back in, though. The right wing's still free. Trent wins this, though. We're on the counter. Nicely done by Gomez, though. Henderson switches it up to Mane. And here we go again. The Liverpool front three in full force. Into Bobby. Bobby's got the spin. He's got the kill. And the keeper sees it. Olympiacos survive again. We need to get our shooting boots on soon, brothers. Played inside. Olympiacos again lose out. Chamberlain. And again the final balls. The dog shit. Oh, frustration. Nice little counter again though from Olympiacos. And again Joe Gomez steps up this time. Finds Mohamed Salah. Space to run into. Where's Momo going to go? Cuts in past one. Again, the tackle's there. And again, Olympiacos survive again. John Barnes looking at his bench. Needs some kind of inspiration. We're not even getting shots off, really. Played out wide. Kept in by Robertson just. Nicely done. Bobby Firmino. And two far wide. Far behind him. Mane's asking for the knockback. Barnes is absolutely fuming. Ugh. Again, just can't get used to this front three yet. We've still got 29 minutes left in this game. We can still get this winner. Get this group stage off the winning start. Up you get. Well done, Chain. Uh, well, Gomez that time win that one. And Diaco's playing them little pockets though. And this time Henderson's bar oh, referee. Come on. Uh, we've got to switch on here. Like I say, Sod's Law is these lot of score. Winnie Van Dyke gets something on it at least. Mane breaks out into Bobby. Bobby just turns into a frigging player. What is going on? Another free kick there. Fabinho gives this one away. Olympiacos take it early. Blade poured out wide. That's nice. Trent's missed his man. Headed away by Gomez. Henderson out to collect it. Not again, Olympiacos have scored. We knew it was coming. It's been scripted. Sudani and Liverpool again, just like last season. A poor away from home. The amount of bloody chances we've had. Cross comes in, and in the end, we get punished. I don't believe it, brothers. We're going to have to go attacking. John Barnes' men are 1 0 down. We may end up losing this first game of the season. Nicely done by Liverpool though, they're in this time. Ball's whipped across. Bobby's in there, saved by the keeper. 
Olympiaco survive? Alright, changes for Olympiacos now. Liverpool are going to have to do the same. Bailey's going to come on for Mane. Uh, we're going to have to sling in maybe Wijnaldum in for Ox. We'll leave the last one. Looks like Trent could do with the rest eventually. Well, this is not good. John Barnes does not want to start the group stage like this. Headed over. Leon Bailey, first touch. Olympiacos now is going to take their time. One nil up. They can't believe it. The European champions are one nil down in Greece. And like I say, Olympiacos is going to pass it around now. You know this. We'll try and keep possession. You sons of it. <laughs> Give the ball up. It's not looking good, brothers. Liverpool need to do something soon. They need possession for a start. Olympiacos finally play our play. To make that final change. I think Momo's had enough as well. I'm going to give him a Rigi on. Not the best of changes, but let's do it. Let's see if a Rigi can do something. So Trent into a Rigi straight away. Got a horrible turning motion, but that's them. Okay. Trent's there. And again, Trent's offside, for the love of Christ. This has been one of them games today, brothers. Absolutely shocking from John Barnes' team. They've got 10 minutes to rectify this. Otherwise, they need to give the Liverpool fans their money back. Travel all the way to Greece for this performance. This has been shocking. Out wide. Here's Robertson. Into Brother Bailey. Brother Bailey with the spin move. He's got the turn. Brother Bailey saved. And the Benny falls past him. And again, out again. Liverpool just cannot get this ball in the net. Bobby's in. And there they finally do it. Bobby nicks in front of the striker and defenders. And he finally gets in. And Liverpool have their equaliser. My goodness, that's been hard graft. John Barnes, can't be just wafting a fart away. Just don't worry about that. Shots galore. Forced to Trent. Ricocheted in. <laughs> out of nowhere, Bobby just sticks a toe out. 1-1, one, one. can we get a winner? Can we turn this game around completely? Liverpool have been poor in the final third. But to be fair, don't deserve the defeat, did they? To be honest, so let's... Hope we can hold on at least for a draw. Can't believe I'm actually saying that before the game. Downright favourites. Olympiacos seem happy with the draw. Happy just to pass it around at the back. I mean, look at this. Talk about trying to snatch a win. Ah, Bailey laid it off too early. We need to win this back now. Injury time's kicking in. And it looks like Olympiacos are going to get the final chance. He's in behind. The ball's crossed over. Trent's underneath it, though. And Liverpool can clear their lines. Referee's played on. We're still going. Bobby was offside. What are you doing, Bobby? Not one frigging job. Well, that's it. So much injury time played. Unless he goes short on this, brother. It's going to be it. Van Dijk win it, brother. He does. 1-1 one, one in, in Greece. Not happy with that. Not happy at all. I mean, we'll check out the stats, brothers. And to be honest, we deserve better. More shots, less possession, though. But just can't finish with these brothers. Clinical finishing is terrible. Uh, so the rest of our group, Atletico Madrid lost 3-0 at home to Dynamo Kiev. So, yeah. <laughs> Things aren't all that bad. My lord, so Dynamo Kiev lead the way. What the hell what happened there? They must have had a man sent off or something. That's crazy. So we're going to move on, brothers. We've got Newcastle at home. Will it be another 4-3-er? Uh, that'll be in the next episode. We'll also have Bournemouth as well, brothers. And then the next episode after that with Villa and Atletico Madrid. And then we have Man City coming up soon. So yeah, the games are coming thick and fast, brothers. In the meantime, smash the rass out of that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. What I go on. Welcome to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. Make sure that bad boy is ringing. That way you never miss a video on my channel. Peace and love. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Say